the Jaguars getting destroyed by the Bills. I mean, I'll give it to the Bills, not just Josh Allen, but that defense looks really good. And Damar Hamlin got his uh, first career interception. Props to him. Uh, Trevor Lawrence is a guy that people wanted to crown as the next guy. Oh, once in a, once in a generation talent. He he's gonna carry this franchise. He's like Peyton Manning. And he just not has lived up to the hype. I know he was getting like Daniel Jones comparisons <laughs> before this season. Uh, I haven't really believed in this guy. He throws a lot of interceptions. What do you feel about what we took away from this Trevor Lawrence performance? It sucks that they, again, they just paid this guy. Like that, if I'm looking at it, the landscape of the these quarterbacks, they have just not – look at Tua – I mean, Tua has his own situation, obviously, with his health. But even then, I wouldn't. I don't think I would have paid Tua this year. I would have done another prove it contract, and it would have been way discounted because look at what happened. But I don't see the rush to pay these guys because if you look at the long run, they are not going to live up to being the oh, I need to make more money than Dak Prescott. I need to make more money than that. Like Trevor Lawrence hasn't really done much since he's hit the league. Like he has been such a flash in the pan as far as like having more flash than substance. And I mean, you could say, Hey, it's the Jags. At least he keeps the Jags in a national conversation somewhat, but realistically like the Jags can go off the face of the earth. And I don't think a whole lot of people will notice. You know what I mean? They don't really contend much as far as winning the biggest thing besides Trevor Lawrence has been Urban Meyer, which was pretty pretty crazy. But I just don't – again, this is a team where I don't know where they can go from here because a couple of years ago it seems like they were stocked with talent. But where is that – like they are, they're paying a bunch of guys that like Christian Kirk, like these massive contracts, but they ne- no one has ever lived up to that top flight billing and went to the Jeff- Jacksonville Jaguars. Yeah, and the, here's the thing too is like their roster is built. Like it's not like oh we're building on this roster. We're hoping to add some pieces. Like this is the roster. It's set. Yeah. Like this is the team that should be competing. They should be up there, top four in the AFC. Like, and they're just not looking up to it. They're not living up to the hype. They got ETN. They got they've invested in defensive linemen a, a couple times. Some linebackers like. It's just weird with this team, and it's is it Trevor Lawrence? Is it the coach? Is it just all around like these pieces aren't cohesive? It's just a weird situation where you would think at this point in Trevor's career and in Doug Peterson's career, they would be competing against this Bills team, at least giving them a fight, and it's just not even close. Oh, well, I mean, look at like this is like the league will tell you what they think of Trevor Lawrence. And no receivers are clamoring to get to Jacksonville. And you you can blame it on the, the market, but like... They had to you know, overpay Christian Kirk a lot. Yeah. And that's not what happens with A1 quarterbacks. I mean, look at what happened this past offseason with um, CJ Stroud. Uh, Stefan Diggs is forcing his way out of Buffalo and ends up on the Houston Texans and is like, yep, this is perfect. I want to be here. Like... If I was like Brandon Ayuk and you wanted to go somewhere that was like, okay, well, they could win and they need to be in the AFC and blah, 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 right? He had these things that he needed. Why wouldn't Jacksonville be on your list? Because, oh, like, well, they supposedly have an A1 guy, but like they don't. They don't have an A1 guy. They don't have guys that – or they don't have a guy in Trevor Lawrence where you would take a discount to go play with him because he's so immensely talented. And the league has shown that over and over again with their inability to get receive top tier receivers at like discounts for him. Yeah. And on the bills side, I think this is just kind of typical bills. Like they'll look unbeatable, amazing some weeks. And then some weeks they just shit the bed and we're going to, we we're never going to know which bills uh, team we get in the playoffs until we get there. So I, I, I think mean, the bills have- are the classic, we're going to look amazing against dog shit teams. And then when someone comes to smack us in the mouth, we are going to fumble the ball. We are going to do weird things that end up losing us the game. That is like classic bills. 